Okay, so in this video, we're gonna take a look at a couple of examples of using the cosine rule. Just a quick reminder, the cosine rule is a squared equal to b squared plus c squared minus 2bc cos a, and it's used for a non-right angle triangle. I'm gonna look at an example where we're solving for a side, like this one, and an example where we're solving for an angle, like this one. So solving for a side, it's important that you have two sides and the angle between them then you can solve for the third side. So I can say x squared is equal to 8 squared plus 12 squared minus 2 times 8 times 12 cosine 30 degrees. And then in one step, I can take the square root of both sides like this, 8 squared plus 12 squared minus 2 times 8 times 12 cos 30. And I can put that straight into my calculator now in one go without doing any calculations, um, without squaring the 8 or the 12 individually. So square root of 8 squared plus 12 squared minus 2 times 8 times 12 cosine 30. Close my brackets and I get... 6.459 so i'm going to round that to two decimal places and say x is equal to 6.46 now here's one where we're solving for the angle so when we're solving for an angle we need three sides in order to use the cosine rule so that would be um, the side that is opposite the angle, that's always A. That's the most important thing. The other two, doesn't matter which one is B, which one is C. So it's going to be 5 squared is equal to 7 squared plus 9 squared minus 2 times 7 times 9 cosine theta. Now, we can go and just tidy this up a bit and say 25 is equal to 49 plus 81 minus we can say 2 times 7 times 9 is 1 2 6 so minus 1 2 6 cos theta and then we go and tidy up a bit more so it'll be 25 minus 49 minus 81 25 minus the 49 minus the 81 is equal to minus 1 2 6 cos theta 25 minus 49 minus 81 is minus 105. So if minus 105, divide by the minus 126, minus 126 is equal to cos theta. Minus divided by minus is a plus. So to find theta, I'm going to find the cos inverse or inverse cos of 105 over 126. So into the calculator, Shift cos 105 over 126. Close the brackets. Equals 33.557. So that's 33.56 degrees. Correct to two decimal places. So I have a couple for you to try here. So using the same formula, same type, I have one where we're looking to find the side. We have two sides in the angle between them and one where we're looking to find the angle and we have all three sides. So give them a go, see how you get on and write your answers in the comments to see how you get on.